This is the Marble Machine X and today I'm going to test if this machine actually works by playing 10,000 marbles in a row. The marble starts right here in the brand new clock escapement gate where they're being dropped onto the snare drum. This part is brand new and I'm excited to see if this marble gate can play 10,000 marbles without a single failure. After bouncing on the snare drum, the marbles should enter this funnel and then roll through this pipe straight into the machine. The funnel is connected to this marble track on the backside of the machine. The marble track is guiding the marbles down to the first lifting mechanism, the big marble lifting gear. So the marbles are then lifted up down here by this gear. The marbles are then transitioning from the first gear into a second gear to lift the marbles even higher. These gears are using magnets to lift the marbles and we don't want the marbles to be magnetic. So after the second gear, the marbles are pushed through a demagnetizer wheel. On this wheel, the magnets are ordered in an alternate south-north-south-north pattern. So when the marbles are passing over and away from this alternate pattern, the magnetism inside the marbles is totally removed and the marbles are ready to be transported up on the marble conveyor belt. The marble conveyor belt here is one of my proudest part of the machine. It starts and stops to pick up the marbles. The conveyor belt can lift eight marbles per crank turn and drops off the marbles on this plywood lanes. On the plywood lanes, the marbles are slowed down by over rotation. And while we're here on the backside of the machine, we can also take a look at the music program. So this part is the brain of the Marble Machine X, using programming pins to create the musical rhythms, just like MIDI notes in a music software. The plywood marble lanes here on top of the machine are dropping the marbles into the brand new marble divider. In the marble divider, the marbles can choose to go two ways either fall straight down into one of these acrylic tubes to be played by an instrument or pass over all the channels and enter the recycling loop for unused marbles. The recycling loop starts with a divide by four over here. It takes one stream of marbles and divide it evenly on four tracks. Then the marbles go in this turn and head straight towards the fish stair. Once they reach the top of the fish stair, they can fall down into the marble divider again. The acrylic pipes are leading down through the machine into a brand new pressure valve section. This zigzag track reduces the marble pressure and makes life a little bit easier for the marble gate. So there you go, that's the full loop that the marbles have to clear today. And in today's 10,000 marble test, I'm gonna keep a very close eye on the floor. The floor right now is so clean, I don't think I've ever seen such a clean floor. So let's keep this floor clean and let's start the 10,000 test. Start. Activating Hyatt's machine and snare. Listen to how the Hyatt machine and the snare slowly start to play in sync with each other as the machine picks up speed. I'm recording the sound on multiple microphones. This is what the snare drum microphone sounds like. I feel so happy to be back making marble tests. I've redesigned so many parts of the machine to make it work better than last time. So I really hope that that will show in the results of today's tests. I'm holding my thumbs here. The machine has been playing for 13 minutes, which means it has dropped 1000 marbles. So it's time to check the floor and so far, so good. Floor is clean, yes.
the machine has now played 2000 marbles and there's still no marbles on the floor so I'm gonna celebrate that with a simple bass guitar. And we're cruising up to 3000 marbles, no failed so far, so let's play some kind of kick drum on an accordion case. The machine is crushing it so far. We're now 40 minutes into the test and 4,000 marbles have been played without a single failure. Are you seeing what I am seeing? <laughs> Let me put a red circle to help you focus your attention. Right there, the floor is clean, my friends. That feels wonderful to see. The machine has been playing for over one hour and all systems are nominal. I know from experience though in earlier marble tests that things can go wrong at the very last minute, so let's hope we can stick this landing in the end. The marble count is now at 6000 and the machine has performed perfectly, not a single fail. And I'm gonna celebrate 6000 by recording a suspended cymbal pattern. This pattern might sound a little bit odd by itself, but I hope it will work in context with other instruments later. My plan is to record like a new instrument for every thousand marbles and if we reach 10,000, play the whole song with all the instruments together. Things are working great, so the machine keeps on playing and I'm checking in here on the zigzag pressure relief track. I love how you can see the marbles through the sides of the plywood. When there's more channels, it will not be as visible, it will be more obstructed. So let's check the time and 13.33 looks like we actually already played 7,000 marbles with zero fails. Clean floor! This piano sound makes me think of a famous story from the Swedish band ABBA. I think it was the band ABBA. Anyway, they were in the studio and they said they had studio equipment that was so great that it could turn a one million dollar grand piano sound into the sound of a toy keyboard. <laughs> That's kind of what I've done with this piano sound.
we are getting so close 8000 marbles zero fails and i'm using my premier vibraphone from 1964 probably my absolute favorite music instrument <laughs> So at this point I'm just waiting to cross this finishing line, celebrating you can see there the floor is still clean. So now there's only seconds to go, nothing looks bad, I think I might have done it. Here is everything I did to achieve this perfect score. I replaced this masking tape with a more serious marble fence with 3D printed fence post and silicone tube that is snap in place. I found a hole in the marble fence so I repaired it with some welding. I made a new plywood piece to guide the marble tubes from the top of the machine down to the bottom of the machine. I removed the old solution and inserted a new piece. I found this edge case where the marbles could actually get stuck in the new height independent marble divider. So I removed one of the plywood parts and then I rerouted these pockets deeper on the CNC machine. With the deeper pockets the marble can go deeper into this part and this edge case is removed and the marble divider is not clogging anymore. I designed the new clock escapement gate and assembled the first one and welded it in place onto the machine. I was happy as a bird this day because I knew that these were perfect and would never have any issues. Everything was going so great and I was really really confident until disaster struck. Oh, this is not working, I'm way too disappointed to film this correctly because I don't want to be <laughs> angry on video. In the end, when the marbles are pressing full on, turns out the pressure is actually too high. So check, this is what happens. <laughs> well, they all hit the funnel, let's try this again. <laughs> So look now, pressure has decreased and now it's working perfectly. Let's go downstairs to the rescuing. Not happy, I'm so <laughs> I'm just trying to not... I'm trying to keep this family friendly right now. I calmed myself down and mustered up a resource of patience even I didn't know that I had. And then I cut my whole CNC bed flat and I designed a new pressure valve very carefully and a new guiding piece. I even made an intermediate version, so this is the third version I made this week of this pressure valve. And voila, it works perfect. I made this pre-tension thingy that sits in front of the spring drumsticks of the Hyatt machine. And this is pre-loading these springs and make the volume of the Hyatt machine much louder. I had a big issue before with low volume. I wanted to assemble the microphone seriously so I needed to take the drums off and cut some of the stands out because they were in the way for the microphones. So this piece I'm going to cut off 
And also this old piece is made for two drums, but we're only using it for one. I'm angle grinding away the pieces that were in the way and here you can see now how the microphone fits in much better. Shout out to Christoph Bruning for finding this angled SM57, that's the coolest mic ever. <laughs> Lastly, I found a better way to fix the timing of the programming plates. I had this external shim washer system before, which meant that I had to take the plates off, adjust the timing, put them on and test again. And suddenly I just realized if I put a bolt from the inside, I can adjust the timing when the plates are on the machine, which helped me make the marble machine play tighter music for you today. The devil is in the details in this project, <laughs> I can tell you. Perfect! <laughs> it was funny, I talked to Hannes before filming this. I said like, I'm not gonna be happy if it plays perfect. It should have played perfect two years ago. I'm just gonna take this for granted to nail the zero fails. But it feels amazing right now, I have to say. The baseball bat is standing right over there. One marble on the floor and this machine <laughs> would have been obliterated. No, but seriously, it feels amazing, although I think the machine should have been here two years ago. <laughs> it almost went wrong with the, this clock escapement gate well, that I went all in for that design, right? But um, the fix we made and it's perfect. These 10,000 marbles have passed through almost the whole system. So the lifting mechanism, the conveyor belt, the Fister lifted 65,000 marbles. Good. Divide by four divided 65,000 marbles. Good. <laughs> Well done, little Marble Machine X. This weekend, the Vintgard on Discord server is celebrating its one year birthday. They are planning a four day long stream with all the Marble Machine videos from start to finish with like Minecraft Among Us and some Bake Off competitions in between. If you want to be part of the Vintgard on Discord server birthday party, which I think is gonna be epic, just go to the Discord channel and check the announcement channels and you find all the links and stuff like that. So welcome to celebrate your birthday and thank you to everyone who are supporting this crazy project through Patreon and YouTube memberships. I mean, we did 10,000 marbles and we're close to 10,000 people who are supporting this project. So I'm happy I could play one marble correctly for each and one of you <laughs> who are supporting. That warms my heart and it warms the heart of all the Wilsons. How are you back there? Oh, they're playing some kind of circus pyramid, you know, when <laughs> they do a Wilson formation. Look how happy they are. <laughs> Epic win for the project to summarize. This is the result we wanted and this is the result we tried to manufacture and we did it. So I'm gonna crank down my expectations for one second right here and actually celebrate this win. Woohoo! That was a celebration. Tomorrow I start with a higher channel. <laughs>